All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove the trigger spring and the trigger housing mechanism. All right. So first, you want to disengage your trigger bar from the trigger housing mechanism. All right. You do not need to remove your connector to do this. And... My little screwdriver attachment here it's about the size of a eyeglass repair screwdriver all right so if you got one of those that work perfectly what you want to do is you want to take your blade or your screwdriver and there's a little hole right here in front of this plastic guide tab or rod that your trigger spring is mounted on all right you want to put your screwdriver in there push straight forward and you'll see that pop out you guys see that and then you want to slide that straight up all right through the top section it's going to be in the bottom section when you take it out slide it up through the top section and then that will allow that little housing or that little bar to come out okay now from here it's very very simple all right all you want to do is hold this end and twist right here okay and you can push that way all right, guys, so twist, and there you have it. Slide your spring out, replace the spring, do whatever you need to do, okay? Now, here's one thing that you do want to do when you put it back in the firearm. All right, guys, there's a little ramp right here on the top of this plastic guide rod for your trigger spring make sure that is facing upward okay so you go ahead put your new spring on or your current spring back on push that on twist it back up Make sure that plastic guard, that ramp on the plastic guard rod is facing up. And you just come in through the top, push it forward, slide it all the way down. And there you have it guys it's back in there and then when you're attaching your trigger bar back in there you want to make sure your connector is pressed in all the way all right and if you want to change your connector out then all you do is you just push from the opposite side in that little hole there okay connector will slide right out swap it out do what you need to do when you put your new one in or when you put your current connector back in just make sure you push it all the way in all right and then when you're attaching your trigger bar you want to hook the rear of the cruciform right in there all right i dropped a little grease back here previously so you just come in at an angle make sure you catch it hook it and then slide it in make sure it's seated all right guys there you have it good to go